The COVID-19 pandemic has elevated the importance of self-sustainability in light of islands having limited access to necessary goods. However, this is not a new issue for the island of Hawaii, as the government has yet to implement effective policies to create a self-sufficient food strategy in order to decrease dependency on imports. As a result, residents are forced to pay higher prices for goods that could be locally grown. My solution to creating a more sustainable island of Hawaii is large-scale farming. There are several benefits to large-scale farming. If more food is locally produced and bought locally, Hawaii's carbon footprint would be reduced as less fuel will be used and more energy will be conserved. Decreasing the food miles on food also allows for higher nutritional content because food grown locally is fresher than food imported. Lastly, locally growing food also creates jobs because it requires farmers to hire more local workers, and buying local food helps to keep, running, helps to keep money running throughout the community. In order to effectively implement large-scale farming, the land the farms would be on must be assessed for its potential as farmland. In Bringing Multiple Values to the Table, Assessing Future Land Use and Climate Change in North Kona, Hawaii, researchers spend time looking at various future land use scenarios under the current and future climate climates in Kona. For over 200 years, a majority of North Kona's dry forest has been changed to be a pasture for cattle. In this figure, you can see the future land use scenarios and the type of crops that could be grown in certain areas in Kona. There are some arguments against large-scale farming. One is monocrop production. If production becomes motivated only by directly boosting efficiency, local communities are put at risk and intensive monoculture production arises and becomes a threat. Another argument against large-scale farming is pollution. It is possible for many types of pollution, such as water pollution, to, to occur if a proper waste disposal system is not set in place. These two concerns are valid, but they can be negated by proper planning and systems. By making sure farms will only grow one crop, concerns of monocropping can be avoided. If large-scale farms make sure they have the right waste disposal systems and set, concerns over pollution can be avoided as well. Large-scale farming is a good solution to creating a more sustainable island of Hawaii. There are several benefits such as increased jobs and lower dependence on imported food. Concerns over monocropping and pollution can be negated with planning and proper systems. Planning large-scale farming with the changing climate in mind can increase the likelihood of long-term sustainability. Hawaii was once self-sustainable, and we can be again.